Third Prep Unit 1 Focus Student Book Page 20 In this unit we are going to know how to express ourselves and how to describe other people's appearance and personality. So in this unit we are dealing with some new adjectives and vocab which help us to describe people's personality and appearance. For example, here we have blonde, caring, and caring means providing care and support to others, curly hair, harding or hard working, which means this person is working hard, outgoing, which means enjoying meeting and talking to people, tall, of course, top trainers, Selfish, which means he likes himself only, and suit. We are going to put these adjectives or these words under an appropriate heading. Of course, caring under personality, curly hair appearance, hard working personality, outgoing personality, tall appearance, top clothes, trainers clothes, selfish personality and suit, of course, clothes. So, we here know some new adjectives to help us to describe people's appearance and personality at the same time. In this exercise three, we are going to look at the pictures and then we are going to write the suitable letter beside each picture. Let's read this report together. In your book, page 12, Facebook profile photos and what they mean. The pretty portrait girls often take photos on, of themselves, they do their hair, put their makeup on, look straight into the camera and click. What it means? Look at me, gorgeous. The strange close-up. You can just see one eye or a mouth or part of the face. But I'm also cool, sophisticated, and stylish. And stylish means fashionable. Imaginative means able to create and imagine. The party shot. A group of friends at a party laughing with their arms in the air. And what it means, I'm charming, I'm really popular, I'm one of the gang. The romantic shot, two people with their arms around one another. What it means, look at me, I'm on date, I'm going out with nobody or with somebody. We are a couple, are you jealous? Doing something interesting. You are mountain climbing, scuba diving, jumping or riding a camel in the desert what it means, I'm dynamic and like taking risks. You as baby, you are in your late teen, but you post a cute photo of yourself as a baby. What it means, look, I used to be cute and adorable and I still am I and maybe I'm a bit immature and immature here means behave as not in your age and what your behave as not in your age and childish and I don't want to grow up so here we know together some new vocab like gorgeous imaginative imaginative immature stylish and charming And here also, in this exercise, we have some new vocab. We have to know it, like bangles, which means solid band of metal or wood. 
that you wear around your waists. We have also vintage. Vintage means used to emphasize that something is one of the best of its kind. One of the best of its kind. We have also scarf, which means a piece of materials that you wear around your neck, head, or shoulders. Bracelet means a chain that you wear around your wrist or arm as jewelry. We have also mitten, and this means a type of glove that doesn't have separate parts of each finger. So these will get are very important to use them to describe the person's appearance. Number 10, exercise 10. Complete the question with a verb in each gap, then in pairs ask and answer the questions. Number 1, do you try to buy clothes that match the color of your eye or hair? Number 2, which colors and styles do you think suit you best? Suit means fit. Number three, how long does it take you to get dressed? Get dressed. Number five or number four, do you last year's clothes still fit you? Still fit you or suit you? Here the answer is fit. Number five, do you get changed? Do you get changed? When you get home from school so I can say get dressed get dressed or get changed let's move to exercise 12 to the correct answer Anya knows a lot about art and fashion she is very sophisticated which means well educated and has a lot of experience of modern fashionable life sophisticated means well educated and has a lot of experience and modern fashionable life breaks really childish i think boys are more immature immature which means behave as not in his age number three he is a very nice young man but he can be cheeky cheeky which means behave rudely number four what a beautiful baby look at her cute look at her cute nose number five the two older children are quite rude but the youngest is absolutely adorable he's so kind and old people love him let's move together to the second page grammar or the grammar part and here we are talking about the dynamic and state verbs in your books page 14 dynamic and state verbs most verbs have dynamic meaning and they describe action which means something happens and you can use them in its present or continuous form so the dynamic <coughs> sorry dynamic verbs describe actions or something happens and with the dynamic verbs we can use present simple or present continuous form for example i work as a fashion editor for hip magazine or today i'm working at <coughs> coachella music festival so here i use work and I'm working both are correct because this verb is a dynamic verb <coughs> that's why I use present simple and I can also use present continuous but some verbs have state of meaning which means they describe state and nothing happens you can't use them with continuous form so when the verb describes states, nothing happens, you cannot use them with continuous form, but use the state of 
or the state verbs only with the present simple form. A few verbs like think, have, and look have both dynamic and stative meaning. And the meanings are different. For example, I think I must have the best job in the world. So think here means believe. And in this case, it's a stative or it's a state verb. So I think here means I believe. I'm thinking about going to see them. And think here means consider. So this verb is dynamic. That's why I use it in the present continuous. Now let's move to exercise four together. Read and listen to Joe's interview with Anne. Do the underlying verb have stative or dynamic meanings? We are going to read. We are going to read the verbs and then decide which verbs are dynamic and which complete like state. I don't usually wear dynamic. I'm wearing dynamic. He doesn't need state. He is revising dynamic. My boyfriend hates state. He prefers state verb. I really want state. And I listen dynamic. Jews interview with Tom with the correct present form of the verb. So here we are going to complete with the suitable present form. Yes, I'm having a really good time. I'm having. Number three, I love your t-shirt. I love your t-shirt. Number four, it looks great. It looks great. But why are you wearing? This is a, a dynamic verb. That's why we use a present continuous. I never wear. I never wear. Number seven, I don't have any shorts. I don't have any shorts. Which bands do you want? Which bands do you want? Number nine, I like, <coughs> I like the Foo Fighters. I like Foo Fighters. Number 10, I don't know. I don't know. Number 11, I'm looking for. I'm looking for. And number 12, they are playing now because here we have now, so that's why we use the present continuous. I'm playing. We are going to read here this comprehension and answer the question. And in this passage, there are many new vocab. We have to know these words together. You are going to read <coughs> this passage carefully, and then we are going to answer the question together. But first of all, let's know the meaning of the underlying part or underlying words. Take after, here take after means be like, be like. You are like your grandparents, so take after means be like, resemble. Resemble here means to be also like, to be like. Ancestors means a member of your family who lived in a long time. Member of your family who lived in a long time. And at the end of the page we have freckles. Freckles mean small brown spots on someone's skin. And also the other page we have, at the end of the page, we have image of, image of, which means look exactly like. In the last two lines, we have dimples, small hollow place on your chin or cheeks, or small depressions on your cheeks when you smile. These are called dimples, 